Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Sunday morning. This is the fifth Sunday in Lent, and I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 84. How dear to me is your dwelling, O Lord of hosts. My soul has a desire and a longing for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. By the side of the altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are they who dwell in the house. They will always be praising you. Happy are the people whose strength is not is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Those who go through a desolate valley will find it a place of springs, for the early rains have covered it with pools of water. They will climb from height to height, and the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion. Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Hearken, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand in my own room. And to stand at the threshold of the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will the Lord withhold for those who walk with integrity. O Lord of hosts, happy are they who put their trust in you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you heard the prayers of Christ, who's the, your chosen one, and raised him on the lasting joy of your presence. Help us in our pilgrimage toward you to love your church and to offer the sacrifice of praise at your altar that we may hasten to your house and joyfully look upon the glorious splendor which we have seen in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today comes Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, beginning with verse 16. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Do not listen to the words of the prophets or prophecy to you, filling you with vain hopes. They speak visions in their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord, um, they say continually to those who despise the wor word of the Lord, it shall be well with you. And, the, and everyone who stubbornly follows his own heart, they say, no evil shall come upon you. For who among them has stood in the counsel of the Lord to perceive and to hear his word or who has given heed to his word and listen? Behold, the storm of the Lord, wrath has gone forth, a whirling tempest. It will burst upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has ex executed and accomplished the intents of his mind. In the latter days, you will understand it clearly. I did not send the prophets, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then they would have proclaimed my words to my people, and they would have turned them from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God at hand, says the Lord, and not a God of after, afar off? Can a man hide himself in secret places so that I cannot see him, says the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? I have heard what the prophets have said, who prophecy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall there be lies in the heart of the prophets who prophecy lies, and who prophecy the deceit of their own heart, who think to make my people forget my name by the dreams which they tell one another, even as their fathers forgot my name, for Baal? Let my prophet who has a dream tell the dream, but let him who has my word speak my word faithfully. What, uh, what has straw in common with wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like fire, says the Lord, it like, and like a hammer which breaks the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steal my words from one another. Behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their tongue and say, say the, uh, says the Lord, 
Behold, I am against those who prophesy lying dreams, says the Lord, and who tell them and lead my people astray by their lies and their recklessness when I did not send them or charge them so that they did not profit the people at all, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading comes from 1 Corinthians, the ninth uh, chapter, beginning with verse 19. For though I am free from all men, I have made myself a slave to all that I might win the more. To the Jews, I become as a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law, I become as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I become as one outside the law, not being without law toward God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I become weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners complete, compete, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we are imperishable. Well, I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I palm it my body and subdue it, lest after preaching to others, I myself shall be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks Indeed. be to God. And our Holy Gospel today comes from St. Mark, the eighth chapter. Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed. And after three days rise again. And he said to them plainly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not on the side of God, but on men. And he called to him the multitude of his disciples and said to them, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes to the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God has come with power. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Let's just scroll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water, and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Father, help us to be like Christ, your Son, who loved the world and died for our salvation. Inspire us by his love. Guide us by his example, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting, uh, and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Sunday, the fifth Sunday in Lent. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.